if they don't teach the 100% truth, they are not your brother. If they don't teach 100% truth, they are not your brother. Or he is not your brother. They are not your brethren. I'm going to read from Matthew 12, verse 46, down to 50. Now it says, changed relationships. Also, you can read Mark 3, verse 31 to 35, and Luke 8, verse 19 to 21. It says, uh, there came then his brother and his mother, and standing out without sin unto him, calling. So you can read the rest of that. This is Luke 8, verse 19 to 21. This is the 19th. Well, yeah, this is the whole, the 19 to 21. Then came to him his mother and his brother and could not come at him for the press because of all of the people. I guess that's where he get the word press from, for the press. Let me look that word up. For, you know, when the press comes, there's a bunch of people, right? So I'm going to go into the root of that word. Uh, anyway, it says, and it and it was told him by certain which said, thy mother and thy bro brethren stand without desiring to see thee. And he answered and said unto them, my mother and my brethren are these which, he, which hear the word of the Most High and do it. What does it mean by the word of, of the Most High? Did it say part of the word, most of the word, the Old Testament? Only the parts that you like. It's the whole word, the whole word, the whole book, and getting the understanding. So, if you want to get technical, none of these Israelites outside of teaching this truth, the number one group on the planet Earth is GMS. The number one hated group on the planet Earth is Israelite group. Group is GMS. Read the whole book of Matthew, the tenth chapter. It said that we're gonna be hated not loved. So you have, you know, IUIC, the major group, IUIC, they're not really your brothers. They're Israelites. You know, they're Israelites. They're relatives in the sense they go back to the same race and Raza means race. It has nothing to do with, race has nothing to do with color for you dummies out there. If uh, two, a man and a woman get together and have two sons, one look like a white, a white, baby and other look like a so-called black baby. You can't say, well, they're two different races. It's the same race. The same race. Race goes back to the word raza, which means seed, Latin for seed. So you people, especially in America, you got to understand words. So it said, my mother and my brother are these which hear the word of the Most High, the whole word, 100% word, the word, and do it and teach it. So, so, so now these other groups, the Sakari, the ISUPK, the IUIC, these various different groups out there, if they're, if they're not teaching that the MOTB as, a, as what we say it is, pursuant to the power and authority and the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, they're not your brother because they're deceiving people. They're ultimately deceiving people. They're leading people into error. You do, you do err not knowing the scriptures. When you teach Edomites can make it, the GOCC, they're definitely not our brothers. So let me read this and I'm gonna show you a video and fair use, fair use. Change relationships, right? Matthews 12, verse 46 to 50. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy, thy biological mother and thy biological brethren, which the Lord had, the Lord had four bro brothers. Two of them was with him. They were part of the discipleship. Part of the 12, part of the 12, the, the uh, 
apostles, disciples that became apostles. So two of his biological brothers were of the 12. The other two were not. They were just Israelites. <clears throat> you have Israelites of the Most High, and then you have Israelites. Joseph, the father of our Lord, Shai, not no goddamn Jesus the Christ, um, was just an Israelite. He wasn't, he wasn't no high priest or no prophet. He, 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 he um, put the seed in, in Mary to, to bore a prophet. Matter of fact, Mary bore three prophets. Yahweh Shai, the oldest boy, and his two brethren, James and, uh, James and Jude. The book of James was written by James, the brother of our Lord. The book of Jude was written by Jude, the brother of our Lord, the biological brother of thy Lord. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren, talking about his two brethren, stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him, that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? Mary, the mother of the Lord, was no special Israelite. She was special because she bore the son of the Lord. Just like Joseph was special because the Most High chose to make his seed to go into Mary. So they're special in that sense. But they weren't Israelites that were following the lamb with us or wherever they go. I don't know what role the mother of our Lord is playing right now. I believe she's part of the truth. She believes she's awoken, whoever she may be. So one of you sisters out there are Mary. 49 verse. And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brother. For whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. What's the will of him that sent? The, what's the will of him that sent him? Let me come back here. Let's read this again. Luke, so if you come across somebody that's going off, you're supposed to rebuke them. When um, Captain Desariac had this sit-down discussion with Hassan Campbell, who, who jumped up and criticized it? Did Sakari, I don't know. I don't know if Sakari criticized it. HOD, did anybody, did uh, Priest Daniela, uh, did, uh, I'm just thinking of names. Did any other IS, IUCPK? No. Who, who rebuked, who rebuked um, Captain Tazariak and pretty much praised Hassan Campbell because the spirit was on Hassan Campbell. He spoke through the spirit. The spirit was speaking through that man. We rebuked him. I made a video. Other certain, a bunch of us from GMS made a video. We rebuked the hell out of him. Did Bishop Nate rebuke uh, Captain Zarek? No, because he teaches the same motherfucking thing. Dealing with that karagma. So let me read this again. But remember, these guys are not your brother. You don't got to salute them. You might salute them just to be at peace with them. If it at all possible, be peaceful with all men. But knowing your mind, that's a nigga right there. That's a nigga that happens to know he's an Israelite. Luke 8, verse 19 and 21. Then came to him his mother and his brethren. Oh, let me just say this before I read on. Is Ron Dalton Jr., a.k.a. Moses Levy, is he a brother? No, he's not a brother. When he came out, who rebuked Ron, uh, 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 Ron Dalton Jr.? Who rebuked him? IUIC didn't rebuke him. And you're going to find out in a, in, a, in a hot minute. Captain Desariak didn't rebuke him. General Yohani didn't rebuke him. Sakari, I don't know if they rebuked him or not. But we should have lined up rebuking that dude. 
Let me, keep, let me keep reading. Let me start at the 19th verse again. Luke 8, verse 19. Then came to him his mother and his brother and could not come at him for the press. Like I said, I got to look up that word press. Like I said, some breaking news happens. You got the, they get a call. You got the Associated Press. The Associated Press and the UPI, um, United Press International. So we got to go into that word press. Because the press means right here is that there was a crowd. Let me bring that back up. There was a crowd around him where his, where his relatives couldn't get through. There was a crowd around him listening to him. So they said, let us get through. Let, let them know that we're here. So like I said, you got to look into, look into that word press. <clears throat> and, it shall, and it was told him by certain which said, thy mother and thy brother stand without desiring to see thee. And he answered and said unto them, my mother and my brother are these which hear the word of the Most High, the whole word, 100 percent breaking it breaking down every scripture the correct way which none of these people none of these other camps do and do it and do what does it mean to do it do is an action word right it means to hear the word then go out and and, and pass the word on don't give me your own opinion your own feelings i feel this way no 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 it's about the word it's about the word now uh bishop nathaniel General Yohan and all the rest of them, when we teach something, they know that we're teaching the truth, but they choose to rebel against the truth. They choose to acknowledge that we have 100% truth. Anyway, let me, let me, this is why I did this video. Now, listen at this. This is at, this is fair use, fair use, fair use. This guy claims he's down with the IUIC. He said he's been listening to them, listening to them since, uh, uh, 2014, and he follows them. Well, why didn't Bishop Nate say, where's your fringes at? You see the fucking double standard with these niggas? You see the hypocrisy that goes along, goes with this? Now listen, listen at this good. This is uh, three minutes and 37 seconds in. Listen to this good. Fair use, fair use. And uh, brother, you know, Ron Dolce, yeah, yeah. Uh, he wrote a good thing. I thought his episode on his uh, book one and movie one was good. It was mm -hmm. about Deuteronomy 28, right. verse 15 through 68, and gave great information to it. And so when he tweeted that, uh, when brother Pelley tweeted that, it was a little, you know, happy. I was excited when he said, it. right, you know. So I, it gave me hope that, hey, maybe some of these invading dogs don't have a muzzle in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Well, we found out that he did, he, the muzzle fell off of Kyrie's mouth. So them small hats had to strap that nigga back in. He had to strap, they had to strap that muzzle, strap that muzzle back on that nigga. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a kind of topic right there. Strap that muzzle back on that nigga. Because Kyrie is an ominous. He believes in all, uh, my mother's a Cherokee and a Sioux Indian. He don't mention nothing about his father. He got aunt, sometime he wear huh? So what did this man, he said, this guy's great and a great individual and, and brother uh, Ron Dolan is a great individual. Let's listen to that again. Let's listen to that again. All right, let me go to 25. Listen to it again. Again, thank you, but also how did it feel when you see an uh, NBA superstar, NBA champion, and arguably best point guard in the league, top 10 all time, post about Hebrews the Negroes. Well, he's excited. And by the way, <clears throat> they're going to march for this guy and support him. And he's a warlock. He's a witch. And you check out his basketball shoe. He's got a line of shoes with Nike. In the back of one of the models is, a, is, a, is the, um, uh, the pyramid with the all CNI in it. You mean he tell me he didn't question that shit? And he's supposed to be in all studying all kind of religions, and he's supposed to be conscious. 
He's a he's an insider, man. He's a warlock. He's a witch. He's a wizard. How can he write a good thing when he said the Latin tribes are not Israelites? He said the only Israelites are Negroes. I don't even believe he, I don't think he believes that the uh, West, no, I, I take that back. He does believe that the West Indians and the Haitians and the Negroes, his main focus is on the Negroes. But I believe he did say the, the people of the Caribbean, black people, and he clearly said that no, he said the, the Latin, the people of Latin, North, Central, and South Canada, the Indians of Canada, the Indians of North America, which is the USA, currently the USA, the Central and South America, those indigenous people are not the Israelites. He made that clear. He made that clear. Uh, what's this woman's name? Uh, Lisa Cabrina, if I'm saying her name right. She had put him, had got him on the show about a month ago. And then she brought up the subject of the Latin tribes. You know, what about these tribes? You know, the Northern Kingdom, the other tribes. He basically jumped over that and started speaking about the Caribbeans, the Black Caribbeans. He didn't want to go deep into it, but he made it clear and more than once, because guess what? I went to this Ron Dolan's main page. He teaches that the UF, you're a nut if you teach that UFOs are going to come down to deliver you. So why would Bishop Nate out of, out of your own mouth, you will condemn yourself. You're saying how good the brother is, but when GMS comes up, you got nothing, nothing but negative to say against us, man. So the, the, the most high, the power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, is not dealing with you. You better hope like hell that you elect the elect and the most high has mercy on you. Because if you teach, keep teaching this madness, the most high is going to destroy you this time. This time you ain't going to wake up from that sleep. You ain't going to wake up from that dark place. The fuck is going on, man? And like I said, and even and even the apostle Aram Lob, even the apostle Aram Lob, he was talking. He got mad. He got he started cursing out Ben from the H O D C. Where the fuck are them guys, man? Where the fuck are you guys that came in in this thing? You ain't standing up for the truth, man. Where the fuck are you guys from from the one West days? They did YouTube videos, and you ain't doing shit now. You guys are not men of the Lord, and you're not brethren. So you heard what he said. He had nothing but good. Oh, that was a good video. Yeah, that was a good book that he wrote. He said a lot of good things in Deuteronomy. You don't check out things. You just jump on it. You just say, some nigga birth, blurts out some shit. Let's go, to, let's go support that guy. Supporting Kyrie Irving is supporting a warlock. The scriptures say, suffer not a witch to live. You should have went down there and put a curse on the Barclay Center and Kyrie, because he's a, he's a witch. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom. On to the next one.